This is the third in a series of videos on the sampling distribution of p hat or the sample proportion. And in this is problem, what we'd like to do is we'd look, like to look at another example problem. So let's say that you have you're a candy bar manufacturer, and if 20% of all your candy bars are defective, we want to know what is the probability that fewer than four are defective if you have a shipment of 25 candy bars. So let's make sure we understand the problem. You're a candy bar factory owner. You're shipping out boxes of candy in 25, packages 25. And you know that if you have more than um, four or maybe more than four, then people will start complaining. So what's the probability that you have fewer than four bad ones in a, any given shipment? Now, some shipments obviously will have fewer than four bad ones, and some more, we just know what what's the probability there. Okay, so let's look at this particular problem. So if we think about this problem, let's think here, P is equal to 0 0.2. That's the proportion of candy bars that are defective. And what we want to know is we are going to take, if you think about taking a shipment of 25, that's like a random, that's like a simple random sample of 25. So from that simple random sample, we can calculate P hat. And how we calculate P hat, all we do is we simply say, what proportion of the 25 are bad? So we have p hat, and the key thing about p hat is under certain conditions, right, that we take a simple random sample and their sample size is large enough, we know that uh, mu p hat will equal to p. That is, is that p hat is an unbiased estimator, and we know that sigma p hat will equal to the square root of p times 1 minus p over n. And further, that we need no p hat will be approximately normal under certain conditions. And in the following video, video we talk about under what conditions p hat will be approximately normal. So let's start from there. So the first thing is, is that we know that p hat is equal to in this case, what do we want p hat to be? Uh, we want uh, mu of p hat to be 0.2. And sigma p hat will be equal to p times 1 minus p over n. So let's just plug the numbers in. And you have the square root 0 0.2 times 0 0.8 over 25. Let's just use a calculator to see what number that is. That's 0 0.2 times 0 0.8. And let's divide that by 25. And then let's take the square root of that. And we get 0 Now, since it's normally distributed, let's, let's just draw a picture for a second. What we have here is we have a normal distribution. And we have the true number of bad ones is 0 0.2. And we want to know what's probably that greater than 4 are defective. So 4 out of 25, right, that's what our p hat is going to be, 4 out of 25. Let's see what 4 out of 25 is. 4 divided by 25 is 0.16. So we want to see what the probability that we have fewer than 0 0.16. So that's what we would like to know right there. In a normal distribution, in this normal distribution, what's the probability that we get a number of a p hat which is less than 1.16? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and come up with um, a z-score or a standardized value of 0 0.16. So in general the z-score formula would be x bar minus mu over sigma with p's 
that's going to be p hat minus p over sigma p hat. In this case, it's 0.16 minus 0 0.2 over 0 0.08. Let's plug that in our calculators. 0 0.16 minus 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.08 is minus 0 0.5. That's our standardized value or our z-score. Right. Now a real common way to analyze this is to draw two normal distributions. This is the distribution of the estimator p-hat, right, where the mean here is the true value 0.2 and we want to find the probability that you're less than 0.16. In the Z, the equivalent Z distribution, this will be zero. Right, remember Z distribution is a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation of one. And we want to do minus 0 0.5 and we can find the area to the left. So that's what we want to find right there. And how do we do that? The way we do that is we're going to use a standard normal table. And later there'll be a video on how to use a standard normal table if you need help with that. But let's look at the standard normal table. And let's look at the value of negative 0.5. Now, the thing about standard normal tables, they always give you the value to the left, or at least this one does, most of them do. And they have both negative values and positive values. Here we want negative 0 0.5, so you go down 0 0.5, and you get right there. And then going over, that's minus 0 0.50, 0 0.51, 0 0.52, etc. We went by 0, so we have 0 0.3085. 0 0.3085. In this case, um, we actually want the value to the left, so we take that value directly. So the way to interpret that is in if you have a sample size of 25 and a true P of 0 0.2, the probability that P hat will be less than 0 0.16, and in other words, that you get fewer than four bad ones, will be 0 0.3085, or about 31 percent. And that's how you find, uh, that's how you solve that problem.